Hmm. Oh. Yes. Sees us ready for the fight. Okay, I'm going to try and fight it without locking on this time. dashes from that position, two rolls from that position doesn't really help me. Right, he does a, um, a spark after some of those slams. That's right, that's part of his thing. If you get under him too much, he likes to perform that um, kind of uh, burst attack. jump forward and just, he just jumped forward and bit me. <laughs> okay, so I loosely would need to be, like, getting under him and then getting back out from under him without taking all this extra junk. He didn't end it first that time. far enough away. The double roll is really not enough for that. I think running out is faster. That's a whole lot of bother, and I'm not going to bother with that. I got hit by both of those floss wipes. You gotta dodge at least one of them. To live. <laughs> I Almost ran out of that. I didn't realize he was doing it because of my camera angle. He really loves doing that particular attack if you get underneath him. Okay, I'm gonna turn on me there. I have a very difficult time judging the range of this guy. He kind of hangs out in a murky environment. Okay, I could get in the dodge between those. Not get distracted by a meaningless amount of blood. Uh, man. From a claw grip. Oh, that actually kind of moved me in a way I wasn't expecting. I got, like, jostled by that. hits while it's uncharged. Its swipes are now uh, shooting out kind of a line of lightning as well. I didn't 
had to dodge through there. Okay, so that was a lot better, I think. I missed my critical there because my head blanked on, like, applying fire paper. And so I'll take a death for that. <laughs> I was like, okay, now I apply, apply the fire plate paper due to visceral. Uh, I messed up. I, I just messed up that entire idea of things and hit the wrong button. What's the fire paper button? There is a there is a weird science to a lot of these fights, and I'm not referencing the uh, optimal routings as I play, because uh, I think I'd be kind of lame. I mean, it might be lame that I'm dying repeatedly. That that's possible too. I gotta I gotta cut this one way or another. But uh. I do feel as though, in some of the runs I've, I've been doing, when I read out a strat, it does diminish the experience somewhat. There are some cases where I absolutely do it anyway. Heal up a little. work at that until we get the ideal behavior that puts the boss in a vicious cycle. Okay, so we're coming over here uh, to face a big spooker. Um, I forget how he shows up. Right, that's how. He's gonna fire some lasers at us. And he's got like a hand slappy thing. Yeah, the, the trick about him is evading his hands, mostly. Hand laughs. Yeah, attacking the legs of this guy, uh, like a lot of other bosses, is not terribly effective. We really want to be going at his head. Sometimes make do with his arms, I think. Right, he's got like a pus attack. Really trying to remember his attack patterns and what I can aim for. Weird, weird gangly dude. Hitting him for four. That does almost nothing. I think his glowy arm is a meaningful uh, attack target. overhead. 
I know the most effective place to attack is his head. We do have to not get lasered, though. That's important. We triggered kind of a hand cripple there. I'm trying to find spots I can sit where I can hit his hand with light attacks. Right, he has a jump thing. Okay, that's his uh, little vomit thing. Okay, he's just regenerated one of his hands, which is a, a, a dandy thing for him to do. It takes some time. be a second phase. We popped another hand. He's healed up his parts again. We popped another hand. and go out through his legs. He did not let me out through his legs. Um, okay, he moved his head over to do that waggle at me. I think that's something he can do because he's in a second phase right now, and he's angry. Uh, yes, uh, pinpoint laser beams. That's a second phase attack. like, murder me out of nowhere? Yeah, that kind of happened. I do... There's the second phase. There's Keelan. He had to heal up again. He had multiple injured limbs. like that in the second phase. Okay. Alright, I forgot he has this bit during the second phase where he rips out his own arms to get more reach. hurt. Yeah, dude is plenty metal. having a hard time getting in proper hits, but I think I figured out what I need to do in terms of the stratagem for the fight. So... Almost got landed on again. I just got killed by a two-hit combo there. That, uh, killed me? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Well, it's not worth all that fussing to do, like, an odd hundred damage 
if he's not getting staggered by that setup. Well, there's the last of my healing, and he slapped me out of half of it. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. He seems to really like jumping in this phase. I don't like jumping. <laughs> Be considerate, bro, could you not? <laughs> that is a really nasty looking laser setup. I'm glad I didn't die. They got a little hit stun by the minor laser. Very hard time getting in good hits. Is that actually finally? I critical the head. I'm trying to do that is so long. pinned in here. Let's uh, get some distance. He did a very favorable attack to me there. So much had enough of this guy. Let's go down. We're not playing a no guns run. Okay. Ah, uh, that's right. We got this fire dude. I don't remember all of his attacks. Except that he's going to huck fire at us. I think we might have some opportunities to get a charge R2 in here. Okay, I think I need to charge it while he's readying that attack. Oh, okay. It it um it ate my dodge there. It just decided not to do that. So, uh, yeah, that'll kill us. Okay, he can do that up to five times. I thought he did that swing up to four times. Couldn't quite get his back with that. Or at least I didn't get the trigger. I like for him to be in the middle of the room because I don't like fighting around the columns. Oh, okay, yeah, there you unlock me? Sure. Super nice. Yeah, so there, if I'm if I hold the same direction on the uh, control stick between those dodges, my second dodge will put me in trouble. I need to change my direction on the control stick to... There we go, got him. I need to change my direction on the control stick between those to manage uh, an issue with the... Um, uh, to manage the change of the camera. He 
He's in a slight phase two behavior right now. Um, but that shotgun blast will be the last bit of damage we needed. The Keeper of the Old Lords. Right, this one's like a Karthus sorcerer, uh, swords person, pyromancer person type thing. This is a pretty tough fight, I think. Sort of. If we can get the right timing on some counterattacks, it will be a lot easier to deal with. Health restored. We do have to watch out for some of these uh, kind of like fire thing pirouettes or whatever. There's a kind of cadence to the boss. If we attack the boss too aggressively, we'll, we'll eat a retaliation hit for big damage. Timing is a little off there. Yeah, so uh, the third hit is about our limit. We have to dodge out afterwards or get a counter. Three hits and then dodge out is the right cadence. Uh, otherwise... Okay, he's in like phase two behaviors now. Yeah, we're no longer getting uh, our clean like two to three hits. I think he's got like a loose, uh, loose poise now. Something like that. Ouch like that. There we go. Got the rhythm. With him in a corner, he can't really dash out, so I can get in two sequences while he's still kind of figuring himself out. Tumerian Descent. Oh, that's right, he has a sickle boomerang thing that he does. That's neat. Ah, uh, he was not done. This guy is the first boss in a while that is just genuinely aggressive. Ah. None of those counted as a counter. Oh, ooh, that almost killed me. Ugh. Yeah. When he's coming to his halfway point, I would like for him to be more center stage. This is about the right cadence to get him. This is his thing. He's a lot more dangerous now, because I didn't get the timing right. Yeah, he can do a double throw now, like a jerk.
I dodged into that throw, because that throw was actually just out into the middle of nowhere. Um, but I dodged on the timing of the throw, and it put me exactly where his sword was. go. There's the interrupt I wanted. So here, I just stick on him. He really wants to get into phase two. So he's going to stop doing almost anything else. Okay, he actually got the transition that time. And he killed me. Ah, <laughs> uh, bummer. I was very close to just looping him to death. blood vial for now. No, my shotgun blast like went over his left shoulder. He's going for phase. Late. Bummer. somewhat cheesy way of managing the last fight where I just shotgun spam him on any interaction to make sure he uh, can't, like, do an open up. But that's the way uh, gun countering works. It's a thing. Alright, that's, uh, that's the Chalice Dungeon. Finally got that sucker.